holy guacamole hi guys and welcome to this is the first this is like a scripting tutorial but it's a new series okay let's make a game that's what i'm gonna call this all right so let's go straight to studio open it click new uh let's do let's do base plate all right just make a base plate blaze plate base plate wendy is a real real cuckoo boy cuckoo boy he eats his veggies and he's real real strong real real strong but when nat and sunny teamed up he had to get real real buff now he's doing big youtubing stuff he's a buff windy tough windy he's a tough windy a dude with nice blue hair and he already knows and should be sexy he's a buff windy tough windy he's a tough windy you know while it's loading let me tell you so the game's gonna be it's gonna it's, it's like you know in those io games they spawn little pellets and then you have to collect the pellets so it's like that but instead of growing you get you have enough points to use powers and we could either make it you have the powers and you just need a mount to use it and the powers help you kill people and <clears throat> basically you know kill people and when they die they drop all the powers well they drop one big ball which gives you a power well more points that's stupid but you know i think i want to do like there's a chance for a, like a super orb like you know from smash brothers a super orb to spawn and you have like i guess 30 seconds to find it and it's rainbow colored and if you touch it, you get a a special uh, Mario colorful body effect that you're immune to everything for 10 seconds. And you can touch people and kill them. So more points for you. So you have all this open. And if you can't find it, it's on view. And you just click. Look all of that. Just click it. Uh, yeah, let's go back. So the first thing, we got the base plate. But I don't want people to spawn in the same spot. So we'll, we'll make the random spawn. Like, let's take, mm, it's a lot of, I think we should make a spawn box. Just to be safe, you know, just, just to be safe. Let's make it right, right above the, the thingamajigger get this we can build it down here first you know, let's build it down here so uh, insert a uh, that's a lot of plugins I got there do I want it to be R15 or oh, R6 I work with R6 but people might like R15 better ah, I hate R15 um, but you know it's always good to try new things. Let's. Should I want to do a mesh? A mesh. So everybody got meshes these days. Uh, I work better with block rigs, but mesh rigs are. You know. Preferences. Okay, he's just there for a visual representation. So the spawn box is gonna be. Basically this big plate you're not gonna be able to see anything you're just gonna when you join the game camera's gonna be showing you everybody playing and there's a play button you know but this is just for for people yeah so let's do that let's call it part but why is it welding i think it's collisions is collisions on 
joints. No, it's not joint surfaces. Take that off. Don't need that. Okay, so let's call this base, I guess. <laughs> if you want, you could color it, you know. Pick your favorite color. Uh, mine is CN. But for this video, I'll make it white and slightly transparent. And you want it to be anchored. And you take that spawn location. You just put it on it. And you say, click, okay, what I'm going to click one, hold control, and then click the base. And press control G for grouping. Auto save, am I right? Group it. Call that spawn box. We'll fix this up later, but I just wanted to make it quick and move it up like way, like right about there. That's good. What is this? You can take the cast shadows off because we don't need that cast shadow. There we go. So that way it doesn't cast a big, big unneeded shadow. And. Um, I guess you can move this around a bit. Try to center it. Ay ay ay. There you go. You know, I'm gonna have to break this up because I don't want to make it long. So yeah, spawn box. You know. Um, now let's make our. Where's our dummy? Let's make our pebble that people collect. We could make it parts, but. Eh. Let's make it spheres. Let's make it, you know, it'll be just little orbs. And we can add like an animation to it, like make it like bob left, fade right, up, down. No, oh, we can make it like, you know, how in uh, Minecraft it's like up, down, up. We can make it a square instead. A cube, <laughs> not a square. It's a block. It's a block. That way we can see it rotate. And, you know, we can make regular, like a regular square. Uh, we can, uh, let's see. Um, food. Or we can call it pellet. You know, like Pac Man. Ooh, we can make, we can add like Pac Man sound effects when you're, when you're walking. That's me cracking my neck. Uh, anchor it. But on can collide it. And inside of it, insert right click and insert um what is that object? Insert an object. I'm gonna stop when we get the pellets to spawn. And insert a script. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna say wait. Hey, hey, wait. Just I always like to add a weight. Let's put local part equals script up here. Height. What else? Mm. I have a tween module that I use, but since you guys might not have it, I'm gonna do TS equals game get service tween service. Yeah. Let's do while part is is not equal to nail do I do that I don't know why it's just something I do let's wait point one for now um I think in this let's put the amount let's put a, a, a number value we can make it like what is the mm, is a number value needed point five food two point something you know I think that would be uh, do we, we can just work with whole numbers for now let's do an int value instead let's call it uh, food and these pellets will give uh, let's say let's give it 10 for now you know and let's try to make a bobbing effect uh, TS, I think you gotta create the tween. Tween equals TS create. 
instance part uh, tween info dot new I like to use one default enum dot easing style and for me let's try bounce because I never did bounce before and let's uh, c frame equals part dot c frame times c frame dot new zero uh, let's go from where it is it'll go up say five studs hey five studs and can I times the angles as well times c frame dot angles zero let's do 120 and then we can do we can also create tween 2 as well uh, no that'll make no sense tween play and we can do weight 1 I guess 0. 0.5 and let's make another tween and we can just copy this one um it might not look um let's do let's put it back to zero or negative one twenty and that's minus five and let's wait let's tween to play wait one of five and we can save it oh we have to publish it can we test it first and work man work dang lag is real imagine where's my pellet Yo, <laughs> what the heck? Um, uh, rotation's gonna be a a pain in my booty. Let's just move it up two studs, two studs. Uh, I think quad, quad. I like using quad more because. More fun. Let's wait. Let's. Oh, it's because it moves too quick. Five. Let's do five point five. And then five point five here. And then five. Yep. Can't publish it. Till we get it spawning and working, we're not publishing. <laughs> okay, um, how does okay, let's remove. Let's just leave it at quad, man. How do we do in out with quad? Hey, what are you doing? What is quad is the one that tweens in, and you know. Yeah, <gasps> we found it. Yo, you don't know. <clears throat> oh, we can do it. A rotation local rotation equals uh, zero. And let's do 
times C frame dot rho angles zero rot zero. Oh, rotation. Okay, so basically, it'll rotation equals rotation plus uh, how much is the lowest angle? 40, uh, I heard about 45. And let's do if rotation is bigger than or equal to 360. Then rotation equals zero. Let's make it let's make it forty five at first. Else your plus. If it's okay, you see? Oh hopefully this works. Oh no, we should we should plus we should plus and check here. You know I think I mean, that looks fine. I mean, it goes, okay, yeah. I mean, that could be a nice, ooh, it looks good. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> we just made that, guys. We just made that. Okay, and now let's do the touch for the food. Um, local food equals part with A. Part wait for child food. Part uh, let's do local enabled equals true. Part the touched connect function hit. If not enabled, then we turn end. Local okay. If hit the parent. Hey, what's going on? Find the first child. Uh, I guess. Well, yeah. If it if it has a, a humanoid, humanoid. If hit that parent five is a humanoid. Then let's do local. Player equals that players get player from character hit a parent if player then if let's also check if the humanoid HP local home results And if they die, they can't collect. Home dot help is less than one. Okay, let's do uh, local leader stats equals player find first child. Was it leader stats? If not leader stats, then turn and leader that that points that value equals leader stats that points that value plus food that value and then we do script that parent this true that script should be fine now 
let's make it spawn before we make the leaderboard okay once we know we can spawn we're good so right click server script service and click a script you can exit out of this for now what you want to do is oh, select it control X and then you want to mm, server scripts as do folder in server storage let's call it um, uh, let's call it food foods shift uh, control shift and V paste into so all this should be fine yeah that should be fine and now in this script let's call it food spawn and let's let's define some stuff a uh, local amount equals zero it, it, it starts at zero and there's a local um um super spawn equals false we'll work on that some other time for now let's do while true do wait um every five seconds Uh, the, let the weight be like that and let's do this now let's go back here and define the food folder food folder let's scan that server story that foods we could also do wait for child but for now we'll do that um, let's oh we need to find a place to put it we can't put it in workspace because that'll just be a lot of lag make a folder and workspace called it um food storage we could you can call it whatever you want but yeah you know local uh, for iv and pairs workspace dot food storage get children um mt equals number of oh we can just do i right right yeah we, let's try that number of v number of or we can just do i i think that i think that'll work and if amt It's bigger than or equal to uh, if there is a thousand. Is a thousand a lot? Because most games have more than a thousand. So let's say a thousand. For now, let's do the base plate is big. So yeah, let's do a thousand. Let's go to five thousand. Let's do a thousand. <laughs> then wait. Uh, I guess. Let's wait mm, 10 seconds. The max amount of time it'll stay is 10 seconds. Else, local food equals food folder dot pellet phone food dot parent equals workspace dot food storage. Here's another thing we might need local base plate a uh, pate plate. Right. Workspace dot base plate. Here's what we're gonna do. Food storage dot C frame. Well food dot C frame equals C frame uh, new base plate dot position X uh let's do should I divide it? Ah, that's gonna be hard. Um, uh, base plate that position that y plus 
It's plus five. And base plate that position that Z. Uh we have to math we have to randomize this one. So let's do math the random. Base base plate that I think it's size instead. Size that X base no that's Z. Z base plate that size that C. So let's do negative and then for this one we'll do the same thing. I feel like there's a better way to do this, but I don't know. Minus C the X. X boom. That should work. I think. Let's see. If it works, we'll we'll, we'll leave it right there. Something spawned. Holy moly, that's too far. I think we have to divide him. Divide by two. Divide by two. Divide by two. Divide by two. Oh, no, wait. I think we have to divide it. This has to be size. See that simple mistake? It's supposed to be size, so. Alright, let's see. Food storage. Pellet. F. Yep, we still have to divide by two. Yeah. Divide it by two. What is that? Adiola with a bra with the gear. I'm a rapper now. Wait, wait, leave it. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics. I'm pretty sure this is our video already. Okay. Two pellets spawn. Okay. And. Yep, it works. It just has to go up some more. Plus five isn't good. Uh, let's do plus ten. Let's plus ten. If ten, we you always want to go minimum, like pick a number, and if it's too low, double it, and if it's still too low, you know double that again. But if it's too high, go in between. So can we see any pellets? No, we can't see any pellets. Let's go in here. Yeah, there are pellets. Hey! It's actually a lot of pellets. Spawning all over the map right now. I'm pretty sure. Yep. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Alright, you know it works. Let's give it some colors before we go. Food that brick color that because brick color that let's do let's do random. It'll be colorful. Or you can make it white and neon. Let's make it neon. That material Yeah. And we should give it sizes. Food. Uh, let's give it some random sizes. Food that size. Perspective. Do that here. Yeah. Um. 
Do we do it? No. Okay, let's do. Right now, the size is one one one. So let's do local random size equals one to five. So let's do random size, random size, random size, and then food that food that value equals. Um, 10 times random size so if the size is f that's why I want I should make it lower 7 fries are 35 10 fries are 50 so let's do let's do f 6 5 6 30 let's do 5 5 fries are 25 so yeah that should be good and Let's yeah. Let's see if that works. That should work. I could also add particles to some of them, and you know, it'll give you like like certain buffs. And I can also like you know, Agario has like different. Come on, man. Why can't I? Oh, is that a nope? Oh, it's not. Oh, there's one. I spotted. Hey, look, more spawning. This one right here. What size is this one? Three. Yo, more spawning. There's an orange one that's four. Let's see if you can find a five. Ooh, five. Whoa. You know, also I'm going to give the player speed when they spawn. See? And it multiplies it. Yeah, game works. Oh, let's, let's also delete it. Uh, after every 15 seconds, uh, game that there is add item food 15. There we go. We should randomize it. Math random. Let's do 10 to 15 or 15 to 25. Yeah, 15 to 25. There you go. And now we can publish it. Always publish your game. Oh, I don't. This is not existing. Do I have to do publish to Roblox? Let's call it. Uh. Pet. What's the game? For now, let's call it Pellet Frenzy. Or we can call it Big Bite. <laughs> uh, let's add a description. Uh. Eat as much pellets as you can, and use and fight to be the top uh, pellet muncher cruncher in the server. Use powers to defend yourself against. Attacking foes will you become the top server muncher? <laughs> and phone, tablet, computer. Um, I guess it could open for console as well. Agreed. Uh, genre. I can let's call it comedy. Yeah, I am the creator. Oh, we can make a Rindy Pivot. And eh, maybe later, after I'm finished with it, create. And let's just remember the 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 leaderboard isn't finished yet, so the game won't work. If you know how to make a leaderboard, you can do that now. But wait for the next video, and I'll make we'll make the leaderboard, the title screen, and the uh, super power up spawner so for now just just i don't know just do something <laughs> holy moly <laughs>